Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Northwoods Engineered. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I built this garden fence this past spring. It's now late July and it's been working out really well for me. And the main difference from other garden fences you may have seen is that I utilize wood posts on the corners and then EMT conduit in between those posts. I used maker pipe connectors for connecting everything together. And I also designed some gate hinges and a gate latch that I 3D printed myself. Uh, I mainly designed the fence to keep out deer as they decimated my garden last year and I also found out my own black lab was getting in there and eating uh, quite a bit of my produce as well. So it's been working really well for us. Uh, if you want to see links to any of the parts that I use, check the description down below on how to purchase those. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content in the future. This is what the garden looked like in April, right as I was about to start the project. As you can see, I had a little fence covering a portion of the garden that was there when I moved in, and then the rest on fence is the area that I expanded the garden. First thing I did was dig six post holes with a post hole digger. I had six because the garden is not square, as you can see, so those will be for the six wooden posts on the corners. After that, I took a tiller and tilled all around the outside edge so that I could put a layer of weed barrier to keep the yard and all the weeds in the yard from creeping in on the garden. So here's the setting of the corner posts. So I'll end up having six of these and then a conduit uh, in between. But uh, I have all my post holes dug and then I just pound stakes in at right angles uh, with some one by twos leading up to the post and screw to it to make sure that it's uh, plumb both ways. And then I'll just add a bag of quick setting post concrete to the hole and that should work out just fine. All right, I've got all the posts in the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm in the process of de just uh, digging a little trench between each post so that I can put the fence down a couple inches. It's not really to stop rabbits, so I don't need to get it down that deep or any other digging things. It's really just for deer, but I'm going to put it in the ground a little bit just for some stability. All right, so now I'm at the stage where I'm going to start building the fence in between all of the wood posts. Um, you can see in the background I already got one up, but I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. So this is where I'm going away from the traditional sort of all wood fence and I'm going to be using conduit uh, in between the wood posts along with these maker pipe connectors. So if you're not familiar with them, um, this company makes these connectors specifically for working with conduit. Their uh, main one that people use is just the T connector that uh, kind of puzzle pieces together and goes around the end of a piece of conduit and then another one goes through here. I'll be using some of these. Um, I'm going to be using their 180 connectors. So you have two pieces join, one on each side and then a third go through the middle. And then to connect to the wooden posts, um, I've just got these flanges. It's a two-piece flange and it screws to the wood post um, for the horizontal pieces along the top. And then I'll be taking just a post pounder like this and pounding the, the conduit directly into the ground. And then from there, we'll just run, I have six foot tall wire mesh fence and we'll run that all the way around. Um, have a gate on that side and then a double gate over here. Okay, so we've got the fence up on this wall here and the conduit as well. Um, I'm just finishing the tightening of the 180 in the middle. So I just use a Allen wrench, to tighten those two bolts. And then on the ends over here, you can see 
that we just have the flange type and those just screw directly into the posts. And then there's a little hole in there and I don't have the screws yet, but I'll uh, get some little half inch self tapping screws just to hold those tight uh, right into the conduit. So I've got some stainless steel zip ties that I'll use to fasten the fence to the pipe. Um, I've got some wire as well that I'll probably use to wrap it. So this wall's done and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so now that I've got the fence up, well, mostly up on this side, I'm gonna be adding the door. So the door, I've just created a simple square out of the maker pipe connectors and conduit. It's just four T connectors and a few straight pieces. And then for the hinges, I'm gonna be using some 3D printed hinges that I designed uh, myself specifically for use with these conduit um, doors. So they look like this. Two halves go together, use a bolt as the hinge point. Um, I've got a separate video on these that I will link above and down below in the description where I go a little bit more in depth. Um, I already have them mounted on the door frame, so I'm gonna need to mark out the holes on this tube and drill them. And for that, I'm gonna be using my drill fixture, which I also created in 3D print. Um, it's got a hardened drill bushing in it. Uh, and it, it goes around the tube and then you can easily drill a straight hole all the way through with it. So there's another video on that as well, which I'll link above and below in the description. So check that out. All right, now that I've got the door on, I'm gonna put on the latch, which is another 3D printed item that I designed and made myself. So this will be in the same video as the hinges that I linked earlier. Um, but it's, it's just similar to uh, your average standard gate, gate latch, um, but it fits around the conduit tubes and bolts right through them. So I'll put that on next. Got the hinges on and the latch on, and everything works pretty nice. So I'll take it off and put fencing on it, obviously, to block it off. All right, we've got all the fence panels up. Got everything zip tied to the conduit with these stainless steel zip ties. Should last quite a bit longer than your normal plastic ones. I need to make the gates, the double gates for this opening. I'm gonna go around and cut off the tops of the vertical conduit pieces and then just stick these plugs 
uh, from maker pipe in the ends of them so they don't fill up with water. All right, so I'm starting to work on the double gates that I got to put on the, the far end of the fence. And for those hinges, uh, I'm going to be using some pieces from maker pipe rather than uh, the 3D printed ones because the conduit gates are going to interface with the wood posts on that side. So what I'm going to use are these uh, adjustable flange pieces. So it comes with this tube end and then these uh, flanges. So these will screw into the wood post and then this piece uh, just slides right over the end of the conduit and then you'll stick a bolt through this and then that, that will act as the hinge. So these parts are, I believe, intended to use in a spot where you would tighten that bolt down and hold it tight, but I'm gonna leave the, uh, the bolt a little bit loose so that it can hinge freely as a gate hinge. All right, we've got the double gate finished. So I've got both sides up. I've got the latch installed. And then basically if you're gonna use it, you pretty much just use one side. And on this side, I needed something to just kind of stop it to keep it from uh, moving when you shut the other side. So I just put four T connectors like that and then a three quarter piece of conduit here and then just a half inch one there. So you can un undo that when you need to open both of them. And if not, just take that, shove it in the ground, and then you can close it. All right, let's go on a little garden tour so you guys can see what I've got in it this year. I grew early in the year. I grew a lot of greens, which were in this bed mostly, and they've gotten overgrown. I've pulled those. I've got pole beans growing up on the fence over here. Got eggplants, super, super pretty striped ones down here. Peppers, peas. I've got cantaloupe, watermelon, winter squash. Got my compost over here. More pole beans on this side. Cucumbers right here. Got some oregano, some thyme, more greens that are overgrown, broccoli, a couple different kinds of summer squash, a bunch of beets. Got sunflowers and zinnias all along this fence here. Tomatoes in that row, tomatoes in this row, carrots, cabbage. Brussels sprouts down at the end. Onions, shallots, they didn't do that great. I had soybeans for edamame. They all got eaten by something small. I don't know what, fence obviously didn't keep them out. And then I've got some more cantaloupe and some pumpkins back here. Pumps, pumpkin is getting huge. So yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, like I said before, for info on all the parts, either maker pipe 
or the parts that I designed, uh, the, the hinge and the latch and the drill jig that I showed you in the video. Check the description down below for info on how to purchase those. Thanks for watching and have a great day. As a little bonus, I wanted to show you the enclosure that I made for my strawberry garden as well. I didn't do a build video on this, but um, just real quick overview. I had these half inch uh, hoops that I had made out of um, well, half inch conduit. So they're 10 feet long and I bent them years ago to make low tunnels in my garden and I never used them. So I just took those and I kind of just unbent them a little bit and I just, I have four sets going the length and I just shoved them in the ground on each side. And then I took a few different types of maker pipe connectors once again to connect everything at the top. And then the exact same door system as the other garden fence with the, with the custom parts. I have a couple earlier prototype hinges on this one with some different material, different design. Um, but we had June bearing strawberries. We've cut them back. Our, they're done for the year. It's late July. We cut them back already. Uh, the far strawberries on the right are ever bearing. So those are still giving us some strawberries. And then I just did low fencing along the outside. Once again, just to keep the deer out, they uh, completely ate all of these last year when the small covers I had blew off the plants. So it kept them out this year and uh, hopefully it keeps them out next year because we'll get a lot more strawberries next year as well.